Let us look at an, at an example of a coral plant map. We're looking at a density shading map showing the population densities in Trinidad. When you see a map like this, the first thing you ought to do is take a look at the legend to see what the legend means. The darker shading represents over 560 persons per square kilometer. And as the shading goes lighter, as we go down, the lightest shading represents under 500 persons per square kilometer. So to answer the first question, which parts of the island are particularly densely populated, that is, have a lot of people, we look again at the legend and we see that the darker shading, which has over 560 persons per square kilometer, is found right here in this northern region of Trinidad. So that's one of the regions right there. And also there's a small pocket right there in the corner there that is densely populated. Now let's take a look at the next question. Which parts of the island are sparsely populated? That is, have few people per square kilometer. I'll take a look at the key or the legend and I'm going to be looking at this right here where the, which represents a population of under 50 persons per square kilometer. And I'm going to now look at the map to see where I, which areas have this color shading, which includes this area here in the south and this area here in the northeast section of Trinidad. So those would be the two areas that are sparsely populated. And it's that simple. For more help, visit thestudentshed.com or join our online BGCSE Geography course.